Tonight, with speeding fatalities on the rise here in Nevada, there are some things that drivers can do to help avoid a potential crash. 13 Action News traffic anchor Zora Asbury spoke with a defensive driving specialist to learn how hard it is to stop on a dime and how defensive driving could save your life. There are several factors that come into play when speeding is involved. First, you have to figure out how long it's going to take you to physically stop your vehicle, but experts say there's something called the thinking distance. It's a time that your brain takes to tell your body to come to a complete stop, and that can be affected when drinking is involved. Jeff Payne is the founder of Driver's Edge. It's a charity dedicated to driver's education and making sure people understand the rules of the road and how to avoid a crash. When we get people behind the wheel, we put them in panic braking situations. So, you know, let's get you and hit the brakes as hard as you can. And you understand now how quickly a car can come to a stop. The moments before a crash at any speed are terrifying. Your window of opportunity to avoid it is slim, but critical. If you are in a panic situation and you're trying to get on the brakes, I mean, it's still going to take you about a second to get from the gas pedal to, to the brake pedal. And depending on your speed, you know, you can at 60 miles an hour, you know, you're traveling roughly 90 feet, you know, in that second you're going. So that's still a decent amount of time. That extra 90 feet could have meant the difference between you know, life save and life lost. Now imagine going 156 miles per hour, like police say Henry Ruggs was driving. Factoring in reaction time, it can take 1,300 feet of braking distance. That's more than four football fields, possibly more if you're impaired. A lot of people, when a situation does happen, they lock up their arms and just hit the brakes and sort of wait for the crash to happen instead of being aware enough to try to avoid that situation too. So there's a lot that factors, there's a lot that factors into it. You know, and all those things are so unfortunate, but um, you know, we need to try to protect ourselves out there on the road. Reporting, Zora Asbury, 13 Action News.